Hi everybody. My name is Rich and today I'm here at the Illiniwek Forest Preserve in Hampton, Illinois. I'm going to do some photographing of their pollinator garden as you can see behind me. Um, already got some good shots of a yellow butter butterfly, a great big one, as big as a monarch. But um, there's definitely, wow, there's definitely a lot of bees out here which I love to photograph and capture. And uh, we're just going to take you on that journey. Hope you enjoy it. Here we go. The challenge today, as I've realized, is that we've got a slight breeze. Last time I was out here, there was no breeze, so it was quite a bit easier. And I'm doing this handheld, uh, so I've got my ISO up to 400, even on a bright sunny day, to get me a little extra shutter speed to try to help with uh, capturing these bees. Some of these bees are what, as a kid, I used to call yellow jackets. And boy, some of them are really freaking big. Looks like we've got a starling over there singing a little bit. But anyway, yeah, these bees are huge. I think I might have even seen a, um, a queen, but who knows. I miss my old D300. It had six frames per second. It was awesome. So what I'm about to show you is a little educational tool um, that they have posted here in the Forest Preserve about the rusty patched bumblebee, which I'm kind of trying to find in the photograph just because it's elusive and it was once endangered. It might still be, I don't know. But here we go. So, part of their goal with this forest preserve, I believe, is to provide a habitat for that rusty patched bumblebee uh, to try to let it keep thriving. Looks like we've got a red-winged blackbird over there singing. There seems to be another path back there. I'm going to try to find the entrance because there's a lot of flowers in the back back there. Ooh, but oh, that's a little too far away to get it with my macro lens. There was a great big yellow jacket back there. Anyway. There's really just not nearly as many bees out here today. Ooh, and there's another monarch. Maybe I can get a picture. It's not sitting still though. But at least I'm getting him on video. Sit still. Okay, I'm going to leave you be. There's a big one. I don't think many of my pictures from today are going to turn out because there's just too much wind blowing the flowers around. 
no matter how fast my shutter speed is. I don't think I'm going to be able to freeze time very well that way. Well, it looks like some of the pictures that I'll be showing you may be from my shoot here that I did two days ago when there wasn't as much wind. Here we've got that red-winged blackbird keeping guard. Nest must be pretty close. You watch, I'll bet when I get too close, that bird's gonna come after us. Yep, see? Driving me away. Wow, he pushed me back a long ways. We won't bother him anymore. There's a good old biggin. See if I can get that. They move so fast today because of the wind. Yeah, that red-winged blackbird must have a nest over there. Here, I thought he was just being friendly. He's actually over there, like, standing guard. Gonna get a picture of that. Not sure what kind of plant that is, so I'll put it up on iNaturalist and see if I can get it identified. Now, do you see that yellow flower that's right up in front? Ooh, and there's a bee. Looks like a sweat bee. That flower is visible in the sunlight, and then the background is all black. That's my favorite kind of flower photo. So I'm going to get a shot of that, and maybe even get a shot of the bee. Except that now, you've got serious breeze. And this is when you just kind of wait for the breeze to stop. I think I got it before it moved, but I'm going to try again just in case. Thanks everyone for joining me today on my trip through this pollinator prairie at Illinois Forest Preserve in Hampton, Illinois. Hope you enjoyed it. There will be a short slideshow at the end of the video with the photographs that I got today. Um, hope you enjoy that too and thanks for joining me. Take care.